Welcome to this video on Netforge Land Guardian and SolarWinds Orion integration. My name is Darren Delaney, I'm Head of Technical Services here at Netforge Technologies. I'm now logged on to my SolarWinds Orion Network Performance Monitor. And I'm using this to monitor my network here. I've just got an event in to tell me that this space on a server is reaching low levels. So let's drill down on this. And actually we find here on one of our servers that it's, it's up on 100% utilization. So it's a series of issue we've got here. Scroll down here to get the traffic to and from the server. So in this case, it's actually mostly Microsoft file sharing or directory services traffic. Drill down on that. And it's one client here that's being, it's actually uploaded seven gigs of data to the server. So this is probably the reason the disk has got full. Let's scroll down further here to get the detail. Let's just double click or drill down on this and see, yes, this, this particular PC here is uploading files to a user folder. Looks like associated some video files associated with a wedding. Let's just reset this element. And looks like a whole bunch of, of a, um, movie files have been uploaded here. So we've now got the detail as to what's causing this disk to fill up. So how do you go about getting these type of reports in your own SolarWinds Orion system? To get your Land Guardian working with your SolarWinds Orion deployment, First thing you need to do is go to our website, www.netfort.com. Off the homepage, there's a link to our SolarWinds section, so you just click on that. And on the right hand side of this page, you have the option to download the integration pack. The two files available for download, you've got your installation and user guide. And we also have this, the integration pack itself, which is, which is presented as a zip file. So you need to download this zip file and store it on your SolarWinds Orion server. So I've downloaded this earlier today, so I didn't unzip the file. And in my case, I unzip it to my C drive, where my SolarWinds software is installed, INFPUB, SolarWinds, and extract it there. So you extract it to where, wherever your SolarWinds folder is hosted on your server. So I've done that earlier today. The next stage of the in in installation involves logging onto your SolarWinds RAN console, Drill down on one of these events, in this case it's a load disk space event. Click on customize page. Just add more resources here to this column one. And we've now got network reports here down towards the bottom. And I'm going to add two reports to this page. I'm going to add top IP protocols and top file served, because in this case we're looking at a file server. Click on submit. I'm going to move IP protocols up one there. Let's click on done and that's it set up so the page the elements now load up with data and then you have the option to drill down to refresh the element and you can also edit the element if you only want to let's say you have the top five protocols to and from that server so that's it there so that's how you get the integration pack installed onto your solowinds orion deployment <laughs> 